Now, as promised, um, I'm going to do an experiment about the exposure rates. Now that we have EQ mode, it's time to see what it, all the hype's about. So um, I did post a video about my first time using EQ mode and did a really short experiment about the different exposure rates. But tonight I want to do a longer test and experiment about the 10 second, 20 second, and 30 second exposures. And we'll see if we can see a difference. I've opened the app and connected my C star. I clicked on the settings and went to advanced features and mount mode. And then I did the switch in the top right hand corner and then the polar aligned deviation at the bottom of the screen. And that's what it's doing right now is it's, um, it's moving around the C star and then it's going to give me this number, those two numbers right there in the middle of the screen, those both need to be green. So I'm just using the dials on the sky watcher wedge to get those into a green range. And they do change a little bit. I think it's because I'm on a deck and whenever I move, the deck kind of moves a little bit. And then when I step away, it's in line. And then it's going to give me that green check mark saying that it's aligned. I have placed my tripod somewhere different than I did last night. So I'm hoping to get M51. It still may be behind my house like it was last night, but I want to try because that one would be a fun one to do the experiment on. Um, so that's what I'm doing here is trying to locate M51. But I spend a few minutes trying to get it, but it, it still must be just right behind. I think it's just hitting the rain gutters of my house. So it's really close to being visible, but it was a no-go. So then I uh, switch it up and I go back into the Sky Atlas and I'm looking for M81. And that's the one we'll start with Bodhi's Galaxy. That's another one that would be a good one to do this experiment on because it appears quickly and we'll be able to probably see a difference between the exposures if I do it long enough. So my plan is to hopefully do three hours at each exposure time, uh, but we'll see how the night goes. If clouds or something moves in, I don't know if that's going to work. And so I will clip out some of this video showing the M51 attempts, but that's what I did tonight. I thought I'd report how it's going. We are about 12 minutes in and it has not dropped any exposures yet. Um, I am just zooming in here because one of the very first exposures had a satellite go through, but it's already uh, cleared that up and covered it up with other exposures. And so this one um, is about 12 minutes in and it's going great no dropped exposures yet. Um, I'll keep an eye on it and keep you posted how it goes. But so far the equatorial mode is keeping up with the rotation of the earth and it's doing a great job. So hopefully we in three hours we can do all three experiment objects. So we'll see how it goes if that holds true with the higher exposure rates. But this one is a bonus. You get M82 up there in the top of the screen. Um, with M81 right in the center. So that's the report. So I wanted to bring you back as we keep watching this. We're now at about 19 minutes, still haven't had any dropped exposures, but I wanted to talk about some of the things that are in the app. Uh, this question mark icon on the right down near the bottom, if you click on that, it'll open those titles for those icons in case you don't know what they're all for and you can turn them off right there. If you wanna turn off all the icons, click the three little buttons in the top right hand corner and then click that full screen mode and then that will turn all of that off so that you can see just what's imaging. And I don't love how they've done that. I liked it better when there were just those little square arrows in the center of the screen. I mean, this is fine, it's just a few more steps uh, but I used it quite a bit, so 
it's a little bit more of a hassle to do the three dots. So to turn it back on, you click that those three little dots and toggle that off. And now all of those icons appear again here. And so just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I don't love that part of the app. Maybe I'll get used to it and then it won't bother me. But right now it's really bothering me just because it's new and I have to remember how to do it. Now, when I'm doing these um, objects, I don't want to do any enhancing. As I'm looking at it, I may zoom in or something like that just to look at it a little closer. I zoomed in when I was looking for those star trails, but I'm going to try and remember and put them all back to the default size and everything so that we can get a good comparison. We're at 21 minutes and no dropped exposures yet on the and on the 10 second exposure rate and so that's good news so we've got about 40 minutes left to go and so i'll bring you back when we're closer to the end i'm bringing you back we've got about four three and a half minutes to go on the first 10 second exposure attempt uh, you can kind of see in the screen that it's a little fuzzy looking so I went out and checked and some high clouds have rolled in. It's not enough to really block it out completely, but there's some high clouds. So that's disappointing because they, they just barely rolled in. And so I, I may try doing the deep sky stack and eliminating those and I'll eliminate the same amount. You see, we're getting some stacking fails occasionally now because of those clouds. Um, so we'll have to see it. It looks pretty clear out to the west. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get the other two um, exposure time rates image tonight, but we'll have to see how the, the cloud situation goes. But that's always what happens, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. But this we're almost done imaging the first hour of M81. Okay, it's time for another update. The clouds got thicker and thicker and it was a bust. Um, I spent maybe an hour waiting for it to clear up. I couldn't even get the last two or three minutes of the first hour. So it was a fail for that night. I'm gonna try again tonight. So I'll, I'll do that again. I won't go through all of the setup and all of that stuff again. I'll just post the results and things after this but that's where we're at tonight here's the first completed object in our experiment this is all of these will be m81 and with the bonus of m82 up at the top but i'm doing 60 minutes on each one and this one was the 10 second exposures option um, i did do them all in the same evening um, I did turn on the light pollution filter on all of them just because I had some neighbor lights and stuff coming in. So I did turn on the light pollution filter, but there's no editing of any sort outside of that. So this is just right off of the C star. This is the 10 second exposures. And down along the right hand corner and up along the top left hand corner, you can see a satellite pass through and that happened early on, but it was probably one of the brightest satellites I'd seen. Um, it was bright, bright line. And so it never did quite cover it up. If I were using the deep sky stacker, I would go in and delete those exposures, but this is, I didn't want to enhance or change anything so that we'd have a, a pretty good experiment going here. So um, this is the, 10 second exposures. I decided to put up a picture of that satellite that went through. Man, that was a bright one. I don't think I've seen one that bright um, unless it was the Starlink and this one wasn't or it would have a lot more um, broken up edges to it. But man, that was a bright one. And it happened fairly early on in the recording. So I thought that was wild. So I thought I'd sh share that with you. This is the hour long session at 20 second exposures. And so I can see a little bit of a difference. Once I get them all up, 
I will enlarge them so we can see them a little closer and clearer, but I just want to do a side by side here just for quick comparison. But this is the 22nd exposures. And here we have it, the third one, the 32nd exposures. Uh, all of them did one hour. There were no enhancing or anything done. The whole experiment from start to finish took about four hours. Um, some of that was just um, stopping imaging and then going and changing the exposures. And that I didn't sit and watch the whole thing, but there were very few frames dropped, if any. I didn't see any come up on the screen. But then again, I wasn't really just sitting there and watching it for three and a half hours straight. So um, the fact that it only took four hours to do three hours worth of imaging is probably a pretty good indication that very few were dropped. And so that's a good sign. That's something we want to know about that EQ mode. And that's what they were promising is we'd have a lot less dropped exposures. And that seemed to be the case for this, this experiment anyway. So here they all are side by side, all zoomed in. I tried to get them about the same size so that they'd be easy to compare. I can definitely see a difference in them. The 10 second one is definitely fainter and a little bit fuzzier than the other two. The other two are very similar to each other. I can see a little bit more brightness in the 30 second exposure, uh, but they're pretty similar. Um, I didn't notice any dropping exposure, so that maybe would be a determining factor on whether I use the 20 or the 30, but both of these turned out great, and I, I think if I were to vote on these, I would probably, I think I like the 20 second one better. I don't, I don't, can't really put my finger on why, but I do like the 20 second one the best, and now I want to just as a bonus, do the M82 ones that were imaged in the same shot, and we'll compare those. Well, that's interesting. I look at these ones, and the one that I like the best is the 10 second exposure. I can see a little bit more of the color in the nebula area just outside of the center ring. Uh, the, uh, the 20 and the 30 second ones. They're a little fainter in that area, and the color doesn't come through quite as much. So that's an interesting result. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe your thoughts are different than mine, so feel free to share those in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think and which ones you think are the most effective for running images. Um, it was a fun experiment. It took about four hours of my evening, so it was a good way to spend the evening. Um, anyway, we had fun with this one. Maybe we'll do more in the future on different objects, maybe some nebulas and things to see if they come in clearer with one exposure versus the others, and, and we'll see how that goes. But that's for a future date probably. But anyway, we are glad you came along with us on this experiment. It was a fun one. And we're wishing clear skies to everybody. Thanks for watching.